In this lesson, we're going to create our first script. So we're going to connect the button to the first level. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to select the main menu and then we're going to come up to this button here that says script and it's going to take us over to the script menu. Remember, you can change from the script menu to 2D at any point. So let's do this. So we're going to click on the script button. It's going to say, what do we want? So we want GD script and we want the main menu. Now, we actually don't want this path. What we actually want to do is create a folder. So if we click on the folder button and inside of here, we're just going to say create new folder and we're going to call it scripts. The reason we're doing this is because we are going to have lots of different scripts. So this is just the first one for the main menu. So once we've done that, we're just going to press open and then we're going to press create. So now we have our first script and it creates a whole load of stuff. So all this stuff in gray, we can just get rid of. It's not a problem. We don't need it. So now we have our, our base layer script. What we're going to do is connect it to the button. So we're going to come over to the start button, um, sorry, the start game button. And then we're going to come over to this button here. So we're currently on this one and we're going to come over to the one that says node and we're just going to connect it. Now the most appropriate signal to connect it to is this one here that says pressed. So if we select the pressed and then press connect, it's going to say where do we want it to connect. So we know it's the main menu and it's highlighting the button. So everything here is right. So we're just going to press connect. And then what that's going to do is going to take us back into the, the scripts menu. And what you'll see, that little signal that we just clicked on created a very, very simple function. Inside of the function, we just want to create one line of code. So the code that we want is get underscore tree. And then it's brackets. So if we, actually, as you start typing, what you should get is a complete form. So if you, if you don't know exactly what you want, you can just come down to this and double click and it completes it for you. So it's get underscore tree bracket bracket. And then we're going to say dot change scene. So it's change underscore scene. And there it is again. So we're just going to double click on that. And once again, it puts the last bit in plus the double bracket. So the whole line of code that we've got is get underscore tree bracket bracket dot change underscore scene bracket bracket. Now, inside of the second set of brackets, we're just going to put some speech marks. So inside of the speech marks, we're going to copy the path to the, the scene that we want to change to. So we're currently on the main menu and we want to change to level one. So if you come down to the file system and select level one and right click, there's this button here that says copy path. So from here, I've just copied the level one path. Now I'm just going to click inside of those two speech marks, right click and then paste. And then we have our path. At this point here, we're pretty much done. So I'm just going to say scene and then save all scenes. And we're just going to go and test it. So let's head back to the 2D menu. You notice this is in. And then we're going to click on this play scene button. Now, if this works, when I click this button here, it will go to a blank scene. Because if you remember, we don't actually have anything on level one yet. So let's click on this and it goes to the blank scene. So that tells me that the button is working. So let's close this. And you will get this menu here, and there does seem to be a little bug here. Um, it says something like change scene returns a value, but the value is never used. Well, it clearly is, so that's that's an error in itself. So let's clear the bug, and if we click on any of these twice, it will open or close the actual menu. You will probably need to practice that, so I would recommend watching that video again just so it makes sense. And we will be creating several different buttons and we will be creating several different scripts. So, you know, have a little watch, get used to that, and I'll see you in the next video.